So I have my SQL installed on my computer. So if I do my SQL, and as you can see here, I have the comment line here. I'm gonna open this real quick and bring it over. So you can see uh, if I put in my password, and now I see I'm connected to the uh, MySQL server, uh, as you can see here. So I can do like show databases, and you guys don't need to know this. I'm just showing you that I have MySQL uh, on on my computer, which is what I'm gonna be connecting to uh, using this application. So make sure you have some sort of a database in your on your computer that's already installed that you can use. So I'm gonna close out of this and let's go into the properties application properties file. And here, uh, I'm going to put a quick comment. So I'm going to do my SQL uh, configuration. And in here, I want to specify the location of the database, the username, and the password at a minimal. So I'm going to do spring dot data source. And I want the URL. And this is going to be JDBC colon my SQL and colon double forward slash. And then the actual location. So in my case, since it's on my computer, so I'm going to look a host. And the port is 3306 and i just have to specify the name of the database so i'm gonna do uh, create a database so i'm gonna call it employee manager so, okay so this is the name of the database here uh, which i haven't created yet but that's gonna be the actual uh, database where the table is going to be created for this class right here so we're going to have a table in that database that's going to be called employee with all of those rows in it so let's go back to the application so we need to specify the username and the password so i'm going to copy this and go here and i want to do the username and in my case it's root now you would usually use root as the actual username. You would actually have a specific user with specific permission um, that you set up for different applications. But this is on my local and I'm just showing you an example. So I can use root here to access my database. And then the password, and that's gonna be let me in. Um, again, you can see this. I can type it out like this, like in this application, that properties file, because it's on my local. Like this is gonna reside on my local computer. Now, if I were to deploy this application um, anytime in uh, this application, oops, I have a typo here. I gotta fix it configuration um, so if you were to deploy this application you would probably not have those string like this all open because that's a security vulnerability so you would probably have like some secure way of accessing some remote server and then get those username and password to be used in this application or maybe you would like encrypt them in a file and then decrypt them when you need to use them etc so point is you would never have this uh, like this open uh, because that's not very secure okay and then i want to specify some other stuff let's do spring that jpa i want to do show sql and i'm going to set this to true so that we can see the sql queries being shown in the console whenever jpa is executing queries and stuff and it's just a nice thing to see uh, whenever you're working with spring boot so that you can see oh okay so my you know, JPA is actually updating this data, etc. Something else we have to specify is the data description language. And I'm going to tell you what this is in a second. So let's do spring.jpa.hibernate. And we want to sell the DDL. And this stands for data description. And it's just going to tell the application how to, in some way, manage the database. So if you set it to create, then every time you run the application, it's going to drop all the tables and then create them again. But if you set it to update, it's only going to do that once. So it's going to create the database and everything if they weren't already created. And then it's going to just update the data, which is what we want. We don't want to recreate everything every time otherwise uh, we will be losing all of our data and then the last thing we have to do at least at a minimal we have to specify the uh, dialect so let's do spring dot jpa dot properties dot hibernate dot dialect and we need to set this to the actual dialect that we're using i'm using uh, mysql i think five so we have to set it to the mysql five dialect so let's do org dot hibernate dot dialect and here we have to just say my sql dialect SQL 5 just like that so this is at a minimal uh, the configuration we need to put in for our data source and at this point now we can run the application and see what happens so uh, I don't know what's gonna happen yet so let's go ahead and give it a try so I'm gonna go into the main application class which is this class right here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this green arrow here and then click on run and we're gonna let this come up Okay, it's coming up. Let's see what we have. 
Okay, so it started and we got an error and it says database employee manager is unknown. So the app runs fine, but we don't have that actual employee manager uh, database created. So we can actually create that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this name and go here and type my SQL. And I'm going to start the command line interface for my SQL, put in my password. And here I'm just going to say create database and I'm just going to pass in the name of the database and then click enter. And now if you want it again, I'm just going to click on this rerun here and let it come up. Okay, so everything runs fine. You can see it creates the table and it inserted all the rows in it and you can check here. It says the application is running on port 8080. So I'll see you guys in the next one.